Thanks for clicking. Canada's real estate prices are set to drop by 19% by 2023. This according to a new report from TD. I'm gonna get me one today. This report comes shortly after a report released by RBC predicting that prices would drop by 10% by the end of 2022, with a worst case scenario prediction of a 30% drop by April of 2023 less than a year away. With multiple reports discussing and lamenting the end of Canada's real estate boom, and OSFI warning mortgage lenders to pay extra close attention to loan size compared to valuation, it's clearly looking like the housing market is in for a big correction. So what I want to do today is go over TD's report, discuss their projections for various parts of Canada as the housing correction is going to hit different provinces harder than others, and then I want to go over TD's prediction of a rate reversal in 2023, as I think that's the really interesting part of this report. Fast forward. The data from Canada's local real estate boards is set to be released any minute now, and we'll obviously have updates out on that data on this channel. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe. But for now, let's get into TD's report. TD begins with the premise that the Bank of Canada is going to be raising interest rates for the remainder of 2022, hitting a policy rate of 3.25% by the end of the year, or 3% higher than it was in January. Well, those were the days, huh? With the rising cost of borrowing, TD expects the number of homes sold in Canada to drop by 33% from their peak, with a 23% drop in sales in 2022 and another 12% in 2023. With higher interest rates, higher cost of borrowing, and a drop in sales, TD is expecting that our prices will drop by 19% on a Canada-wide basis. By province, TD is expecting that the biggest drop in sales and prices will occur in Ontario and BC, with Newfoundland, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan being the only province spared from a drop in home prices. So, according to this report, according to TD, by 2023 we should see a 19% drop in prices, a 30% drop in sales, and it's going to be the worst in Ontario and in BC. But what is really interesting is what TD says comes next. After the first quarter of 2023, TD is predicting a drop in interest rates, which, re which will result in a firming up of the housing market. So, according to this report, after the Bank of Canada hits a high of 3.25%, we should see a reversal on rates, which will result in a firming up in, in more buyers coming back to the real estate market, which should stop the drop in prices. Where are you been? Though TD doesn't say this specifically in this report, if they're thinking the Bank of Canada is going to be reversing rates, they must either be A, thinking that inflation will get back down to that 2-3% to target range, or B, that if we start to see a recession, the Bank of Canada will reverse course. That doesn't have the b But what is the likelihood that either of these two events will happen? If we look at the history of Canada's prime rate versus its inflation rate, for the past 60 years, the prime rate has consistently been higher than the rate of inflation, except for a few brief instances in the 1970s. So if we look at this chart, right after the 1970s, we're moving along decade after decade, and the prime rate is always higher than the inflation rate until January of 2021, and then we see a switch. So 60 years of data shows us that the prime rate has almost always been higher than the rate of inflation, and for good reason. If inflation rises higher than the cost of borrowing, then it makes more sense to spend money now. So even if Canada's inflation rate stays at 7.7%, for argument's sake, and prime goes up to 5.45% under TD's model, then the prime rate is still 2% lower than the rate of inflation, which would be a major historical abnormality. We haven't really seen that for the past 40, 50 years, except for a few brief periods during the 1970s. So it's not clear, at least historically, that the Bank of Canada will be able to raise interest rates at the beginning of 2023. So maybe TD is assuming that the Bank of Canada will reverse course once Canada enters into a recession. But I'm not sure that's the case. Just last week, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said that the U.S. will continue to raise interest rates even going into a recession. And as the Bank of Canada usually follows the U.S., it kind of has to. It's more likely than not that the Bank of Canada will continue to raise interest rates going into a recession if the U.S. goes that way as well. And I think this very well might be the case, that the U.S. Federal Reserve will continue to raise interest rates even going into a recession. If they reverse course and lower interest rates in the face of a recession, but when we still have skyrocketing inflation, 
they very well risk entering into a period of hyperinflation, which is extremely difficult to control once it sets in. Hyperinflation can kill an economy, so central banks are primarily number one concerned with keeping control of inflation, with preventing hyperinflation. Once they have that set, then they can worry about the economy. So, with all the usual caveats, and I've been wrong before. Well, that's an understatement. With all the usual caveats in mind, my prediction is that the central banks are not going to reverse rates even in the face of a recession. We keep hearing that in the normal business cycle, the central banks raise rates, the economy slows, they lower rates, the economy goes back up, and on and on it goes. And indeed, that's usually the case. But this is not the normal business cycle. We, we are seeing the highest inflation rates in 40 years in both the US and in Canada, globally really. But we are seeing the highest inflation rates that we've seen for the past 40 years. So there is really nothing about this situation that we're in right now that is normal. So I think it's an error to think that come 2023, the bank will just reverse course. The prime rate isn't high enough right now. The policy rate isn't high enough as of right now to get inflation under control. So while my crystal ball works about as well as yours, I can't see the inflation rate getting back to that 2%, even to that 3, 4, 5% range. Come January 2023, that would enable the Bank of Canada, the Federal Reserve, to reverse interest rates that quickly. With that said, we'll obviously have updates out on their rate decisions on this channel. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.